afternoon and welcome to Shooter World. This is the start of year 2010 and Pastor Jonathan Ferriol is giving a very wonderful message about change. Today's message is the second part of a three-part series entitled Repentance, the place where change begins. Truly, repentance is where transformation begins. It's like a key that opens up door of a brand new start, both for our faith as well as our life. And so, I do hope that you will enjoy every part of this message. God bless you. Now, today in our message, my message is entitled, Repentance. Repentance, the place where change begins. Repentance the place where change begins. Pagsisisi, dyan dapat tayo lahat magsimula. Dyan ang pasimula. Yan ang unang hakbang. That is the first step towards transformation. There's no way you will be transformed according to the image and likeness of the Lord Jesus Christ. There is no way you can become a better human being, much less a better child of the Lord if you will shun repentance. Now, before I talk about repentance, I want you to first of all uh, consider what is happening in our world today. We are living in a world that is becoming more and more resistant to the concept and idea of sin. Yes. We are living in a world that do not like to be talking about sin because they think that sin is too painful a reality to experience and to accept and so we are living in a world today that do not like the concept and the idea of sin ayaw nila ng kasalanan not that they don't like to live in sin, but they don't like whatever they are doing to be called sin. There are people today who shun the, uh, this title of being called a sinner. And so what people do nowadays is to call it something else. And so nobody calls fork, fork anymore. And it's part of our changing society. We are living in a society of political correctness. Very, very seldom and rare that you hear people talking about somebody else and saying, Oh, he is living in sin. Nobody is living in sin anymore. People today have replaced sin with another terminology. Pinalitan na nila yung salitang kasalanan ng iba pang salita. They call it dysfunctionalism. Oh, I'm in a home that is dysfunctional home because broken home is too painful. I'm not in a broken home. I am in a dysfunctional home. Others call it dependence or they treat sin as some kind of a sickness. And so, don't give me that Bible stuff. Don't give me that repentance stuff. Don't give me that God thing. I am not a sinner. I am just under the influence of drugs and alcohol. All I needed to do is enter into a rehab and I will be okay. Now, understand this. These things have a place in our society. The church itself is maintaining a drug rehabilitation program in the Philippines. But a rehabilitation program is just one of the many solutions. But you need to consider the solution that the great doctor and physician is prescribing to you. And that is the prescription of repentance. Why should we repent? The reason we should repent is because we are constantly failing. We are constantly sinning. We are constantly missing the mark. That's why if ever there is something that we must continuously engage in, it is repentance. 
because even now that we are children of the Lord, we still sin. We still break the law. We still violate the statutes and the precepts and the commandments of the Lord. We must repent because we are sinners. But as God's people, we are not just sinners any longer. We are now forgiven. How many here have received the forgiveness of God? Say amen. 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 And so in order for us to continue experiencing positive transformation, upang maranasan natin ang patuloy na pagbabago sa ikabubuti, we need to constantly repent. Because repentance, first of all, repentance is the place where our transformation begins. In repentance, you receive a new beginning. You receive a new slide, a new page. You have a new chance. If you have been erring, if you have been sinning, if you have been walking away from the Lord this entire year of 2009, if you will repent, God will give you a new beginning. God will give you a new chance. He will give you another shot, another crack. He will give you another opportunity. And it is when we receive a new beginning, we can once again walk in the path of transformation and so today this is what God wants us to do we must repent and this is also what God wants for the rest of our uh, viewers on television must think about we must repent more on that later on but first of all let us uh, define repentance ano ba ibig sabihin ng pagsisisi what is repentance? Basically, repentance is changing one's mind. It is changing one's mind. It is from the Greek word metanoia, meaning to change one's mind. Pagbabago ng isip. In the book of Acts chapter 3, verse 19, we can see there, brethren, a wonderful call of the scriptures for us to uh, repent, repent, turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out that the times of refreshing may come from the Lord. Turn, change. There should be, true repentance must display a changing of course. If you are right now in the course of backsliding, if you are now in the course of sin, you are now walking in the path of rebellion against God, you need to change direction. You need to change course. You cannot be constantly straying away. Hindi ka pwedeng lalo kang naliligaw. You cannot veer from the direction. You must keep yourself in the direction of God. Now, what constitutes true repentance? Because there is false repentance, and the Greek word for that is metamilomai. That is the repentance that is not really uh, approved or that is acceptable to God. The metanoia is the repentance that is right. Now, I want you to turn with me in the book of Luke in chapter 15. In Luke chapter 15, we're going to look at this wonderful story of the lost son or uh, more popularly known as the prodigal son.